dozens of drug stores have been ransacked in South Africa amid the country's recent public violence after former President Jacob Zuma was imprisoned concerning the drug regulated about possible risks triggered by improper use of the missing medicine. Mogolo Fasha, president of South African Pharmacy Council, said that the destruction has been bad, like terrible, in the sense that in most of the stores they visited, including stores in their group, there was absolutely nothing that was left because people took everything. Bad, like terrible, in the sense that in most of the stores that we visited, um, including stores in our group, there's absolutely nothing that was left. Um, People took everything, all medicines in there, regardless of schedule, everything. According to authorities, drugs for treating COVID-19 and chronic diseases were unaccounted for after the lootings. Professionals warned of serious consequences brought about by improper storage and random use of the medicine without a prescription. It is very concerning because if you are going to have highly scheduled medicine, very dangerous medicine also because we know that medicine can do good in healing people but they can also harm, particularly if they are used without proper pharmaceutical supervision which we expect will happen when these drugs are out there in the public. The South African Pharmacy Council president was among the first in the country to encourage pharmacies to run businesses in impoverished areas previously underserviced. The civil unrest which gripped Guateng and KwaZulu-Natal provinces in the past week first broke out in KwaZulu-Natal after former President Jacob Zuma was jailed on July 7 for a 15-month term. His supporters started demonstrations and protests demanding the release of Zuma which then evolved into violent robberies and arsons. The country's new president, Cyril Ramaphosa, said the civil unrest was aimed at sabotaging the economy and destabilizing the country.